so yeah i'm going on a short ride uh, not a short ride i would say but i don't find the kilometers from bangalore really don't know where exactly i'm going but uh, i'm gonna take the bike and rush away let's see where i'm going i don't even have a proper riding gear just going on this t-shirt track i'll put on uh, some kind of hoodie on this if it gets really cold and i have the gloves and i'll put on jeans on this helmet is set but then it attaches this gopro to it i don't have the mic let's see if i can find the mic somewhere on the way so well yeah good morning fellas how have you been welcome back to the channel today we are riding uh, after a long time so i have taken this bike from royal brothers which is apparently one of the biggest chain of bike rentals uh, i have taken this bike uh, for a price of around uh, 6000 rupees yeah it was for 6000 rupees and that given me around 500 kilometers of range i think i would hit a little more than that you don't a fairly fine in traffic from jepinagar to kanapur road early in the mornings bangalore has grown a lot man. like there are around 5 6 uh, metro stations after jepinagar like jepinagar itself is like one of the corner of the city i don't know why there is lot of traffic here the toll we are heading towards the nice road toll gate and since we are on bike we have a separate line to go ahead which means the metro is like too long and they're stretching the metro uh, even further uh, i don't know when this is going to finish but yeah yes boys we are on uh, the bangalore mysore expressway which is recently opened uh, for the general public this road feels like butter man it is smooth as butter have you ever heard of bidhi idli which is really famous people come from bangalore to bidhi to have tate idli by the way tate idli is something which only the bangaloreans or the karnataka people know about it because this is not seen anywhere uh, in other than karnataka so this is recently a big large idli which will be in the shape of dosa so i have heard my friends fathers go on the ride from Bangalore to Bidhi to just have a day. Look at these kids. These kids are going to school early in the morning. And by the way, we have reached, we have almost reached Bidhi. And it took like roughly 35 minutes. And the history of uh, Bidhi Tati Idli dates back to 1950s uh, when uh, it was started by a tiny village in this Bidhi area. Nore pata. Nore So we have come Idhira to Birdi to have the Tate Idli and from here we will be rerouting again uh, towards the Mysore Express Highway which is roughly around 3 km from this place and uh, my bike feels uh, underpowered. We will cruise at the speed of 110 km per hour, 110, 120. We will be touching Manja, we will be touching Sridhanga Patna, we will be touching uh, Ramnagar and all of these places. And honestly speaking, if I have to give a review about the idli, it is so 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 soft. Uh, I couldn't eat much because I generally don't eat early in the mornings. But uh, I really love the idli. I'm from Birdi to Mysore is roughly around 120 kilometers. It should roughly take uh, one hour, uh, uh, 30 minutes I would say. But uh, we are cruising at a good speed, so we might reach a little early. There is an interesting temple in uh, Sri Lanka right now. The thing is, we have very limited time, so I don't think we can go to uh, this place. So if you go, it will be really late to reach Bangalore. Bangalore is I have taken a short break uh, in uh, Mandya to charge my GoPro. There was no battery in the GoPro. But I couldn't record anything uh, on the way. In the streets of Mysore, uh, right in front of the Royal Palace. Have a look at it, it's really beautiful. Oh, you're going to get it. 
కొంచెం కొంచెం ఎట్లా ఉంది బిర్యానీ ఎంత బాగుంది తొమ్మిది తొమ్మిది వందలకి తొమ్మిది వందలకి నచ్చిందా నచ్చలేదా థౌజండ్ రూపీసా వర్తబుల్ ఫుల్ మార్క్ వి హ్యాడ్ అమేజింగ్ బిర్యానీ అట్ ద ప్లేస్ కాల్ ద హనుమంతు హోటల్ బీచ్ ఇస్ అగైన్ ఇట్స్ అ రియలీ ఓల్డ్ హోటల్ డేట్స్ బ్యాక్ టు నైన్టీన్ సిక్స్టీస్ ఓ సంథింగ్ యా బట్ ద బిర్యానీ వాస్ వెరీ ఎక్స్పెన్సివ్ మ్యాన్ ఐ డెంట్ ఎక్స్పెక్ట్ ఇట్ టు బీ సో ఎక్స్పెన్సివ్ బట్ ఇట్ వాస్ రియల్ ఎక్స్పెన్సివ్ so from mysore uh, we will be taking this gundalpet route which is quite commonly taken by most of the riders so we will not be touching ninchankot but from mysore we'll go to gundalpet and then from gundalpet we'll take a right towards havaina uh, towards kerala by the way so this is a customs checkpost uh, before entering into the forest we have entered the bandipur the bandipur forest the bandipur forest has it's a really deep forest with a lot of wild animals bandipur is really famous for its uh, wild elephants but it's highly unlikely that we can see any of the animals it's a more give a closer look at this roads the roads are very small and the lot of speed breakers i can understand the reason for speed breakers because uh wild animals cross the roads so that's why they have speed breakers for every half a kilometer now we have entered uh, the state of kerala which is god's own country that's what they say man i'm loving these roads that in himalayan it's peaceful roads are so curvy and riding is roads are really damn good damn good i'm loving which is of man city uh, so i've just stopped my vehicle and i'm going there now so if i really like the t-shirt i'm going to pick it up by the way i'm in a place called uh, sultan bathri which is on the way to vainad for the t-shirt we have checked into a really interesting property uh like it's a villas like it's a bunch of villas we have taken one of them so we have a bigger hall and a table to sit and eat with some sofas forget about the mess it's the my helmets clothes and everything and we have a decently big bedroom with a bathroom attached and we are very 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 hungry so we're going out to have food uh we are in a place called uh oh, fuck i forgot the name of this place vaina is a district it's not a city so in vaina district we are in a place called uh, kalpeta 
so we are like 10 kilometers away from Calcutta again uh, for eating food I have to go to Calcutta and there's a really good Arabic restaurant where I'm gonna go and smash it's fun riding in that one the roads are really small they're really good they're really 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 good roads that in this bike Himalaya which has high torque in the beginning and it's fun to ride in the hills So this restaurant has an interesting offer running on. They have buy one get one on everything. But the thing is, uh, they sell beef. So it's a red flag. So we are going. So we are going away from this place. But interestingly, we have found another place which is called Shavaya, which is Arabic. So I'm gonna go there. I'm I'm gonna kill it today because they have most of the Arabic stuff, which I really like. Game shop is there. Is it not? Shavaya or hotel? Shavaya? Hotel, hotel. Hotel? Yes, ah. ah, straight. Straight? Ah. They will get a drink also, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is the one which I want. I can't get it. I can't get it. I can't get it. I can't get it. I can't this one, Muzwala, Brilliant Mandi. It's a proper, proper, proper Arabic restaurant. So I have ordered um, Alpha, Kapsa, and uh, Kunafa. That's that's enough for me. That's like heaven for me. That's it for this video. Until next one, see ya. Peace. Bye.